In a previous video, we showed how we designed crowns for titanium basins. Now let's take a look at what the process would be if we want to convert these into a bridge. The software has two ways of creating a bridge. The first is if the user is using the design tools, as we've seen in the previous videos, to modify the crowns, to modify the teeth so that they'd be touching, then the software will simply create a union to combine the teeth into one surface, one STL file. The second option is as we have here where the teeth are not touching and we're going to go ahead and design the bridge. We do that first we make sure the relevant crowns are the ones that are active and visible and then we click create bridge. If we zoom in we could see that the software has placed uh, two dots. That's going to be the central points of the connection. If we want to modify them we could just shift, grab and drag and we'll be moving the central location of the future bridge. We could leave the selection as the software has placed them and then just click next. What we see here is a bridge created by the software and we could go ahead and modify the design. If we just grab any node then we could just move that particular node and change the connection. If we hold down the shift key and grab a node then we're essentially kind of enlarging or shrinking the surface area of the connection itself. We can modify the central circle and if we hold down the shift key then we're moving the entire circle in any direction and if we hold down the control key by using while using our left mouse button and moving the mouse backwards or forwards we're enlarging or shrinking the middle surface area of the connection. Once we've completed modifying the connection itself we press the next button. The software has created a connection and if we had multiple teeth here, more than two, if we had three or four teeth then we'd have multiple connections that we could go ahead and design and modify. Now the software is giving us the usual design tools that we have that we could use to edit the bridge. So we could add and remove material, the shift key adds material, the control key and using our left mouse button removes material, smooth, smooths everything out, local deform allows us to grab any surface and modify it, global deform allows us to grab any of the nodes and modify the design of the bridge and then once we're done we could click the finalize button. When we switch to our surfaces panel we now have many different surfaces here. We have the teeth surfaces, the original teeth surfaces themselves, we have the designed crowns that we've designed and we have our new bridge. Let's take a look at that. We have the bridge designed by the software and ready for export, file, export data. Just a word about the filters that we have here. As the number of surfaces increase, you could take advantage of the different surfaces. So for example, if you only want to see the surfaces that are connected to the lower arch, then just uncheck maxillary or vice versa. If you want to see just uh, the teeth and crowns, then you could, un you could uncheck models and those are removed or the opposite. So you have different filter options here. You're not deleting anything, just hiding it from the list that appears in the surface panel.